Okay, we are here in Dollywood and we are with Chris Zatton. He is a glass blower and we're going to watch this process how he takes his molten glass and turns it into a vase right after your station identification. What's all the color made out of? Uh, well, it's all glass. To get colored glass, you add metal to uh, clear glass. Uh, in the case of this color, which is called dark gold pink, it's got gold. You add enough gold to it, it will turn it pink. You add more gold, it turns it darker. Uh, violet also has gold in it. Sometimes it has a little uh, copper or cobalt to turn it bluish violet. That is an opaque color, so it most likely has uh, chlorine added in it to uh, opacify it. This is one little format I'm using, uh, solid pieces of colored glass. We also use uh, all those chipped up pieces of colored glass. This is a little bit more time consuming to use, but it gives uh, different result for a more overall uniform color. He has to keep heating his glass up and work it twice. Really soft. He's returning it okay. back to the glory the hole. A little bit warmer now. But the main thing is they have parts of it that push inward. When the glass is hot enough, it will take on that shape of the interior of the bowl. And if you have color on the outside, it concentrates it in certain areas and uh, pushes it out of the way in other areas. Give as much of that texture as we need to. He's added clear glass over the outside of what he's been working with. We shape it before we heat it by doing what's called blocking. And that's mainly because the tool is called the block. It's a wooden cup that we keep in a bucket of water so that it doesn't burn when we touch the glass with it. It gives it a really smooth, even surface. We'll start to blow this up. I go ahead and I start rolling and touching the bottom of the glass. Metal will cool the glass off really quickly and it'll restrict the bubble blowing down there at the bottom. It'll blow out sideways instead. And we're doing this so that we can get the neck and the top a little bit thinner. Always want to work on that area first. Once we're done, we can blow out the rest of it. The 
first step in making glass, molten glass, is the molten glass is gathered from a crucible on the end of a hollow tube called a blowpipe, and that's what it's doing now. And color is added by rolling the molten glass and gathered colored chips of glass called frit, such as right here. And then, as we saw a while ago, the glass is shaped using wooden tools called blocks and on a steel table. It's called a marveler. And of course, air is blown through the pipe and the molten glass expands. And the craftsman, he shapes the piece by turning and blowing the soft glass as he's fixing to do here in just a second. Watch this. is reheated in the glory hole to keep it soft and make it easier to shape. And by using this gravity method, he's making this face a little longer using gravity to kind of throw it out and make it a little longer. He's using his hand to make it more. On the very bottom, I'm going to add glass to it called a foot. And this is uh, going to help stabilize the base, give a little bit more weight on the bottom. You feel the heat coming off of that thing. Now he's working on the base now. He's gone over and got some molten glass. That's going to be the base. Okay, now that's the very bottom of the base, which means that we're done with the bottom of it. We're not going to change that anymore. We do, however, want to work on the top of it, so we have to take it off the pipe and turn it around so we can keep that part. We're actually already done with the blowpipe too. So we're going to attach another rod to it and break it free. See this molten glass is going to go to the end of this so he can work on this face from the other end. We're going to grab a hold of the top. That will cool down that stress point. broke it loose from the neck. Right this now I'm heating up just the very top of it. It's called the lip. When things break off the pipe, they never break very straight. So we always like He's using those nippers to kind of thin out. out. Wow, he's cutting that glass with hot scissors. Then we'll start to heat and we'll open up the top. He's opening the neck up a little bit. Watch that. Says, it takes this thing. It says takes overnight for the same gold. It won't get smaller, different color, and thing like that. So it just sits in there, and it'll cool down gradually. 
this oven slowly cools throughout the night. Tomorrow morning when we take it out, each piece will make sure, you know, it stands upright, that it's polished, there are no cracks or anything like that. 99 times out of 100, everything's fine. We put it in there just right. Tomorrow morning we'll be taken out, we'll put it into the gallery, we autograph all of the work, so we sign our own pieces. We make about 90% of the glass that's in our shop. We're really proud of it. So, Chris, yeah. how did you get started doing this? Uh, I learned in college. So I went to art school. Well, mm -hmm. I went to university, but they just happened to have an art program with glass in it. So I would say there's probably at least one or two, sometimes six or eight universities in any given state that will have a glass program. Hmm. So that's, I did not realize that that was a... A, uh, a major that you could take glass blowing. Yeah, I didn't either, really, until I found it. And my parents were like, you're doing what? But, hey, it's worked out. It's mm -hmm. been about 26 years. Now, uh, I missed the first part. So your, your, the process of that vase, it started out with already molten glass? No. Or, no. Everything we do is free for. The only thing that was different that I did this time was picked up a piece of colored glass to uh -huh. start with. Uh, all the glass is liquid already in the tank. So uh -huh. it now, where does that where does that come from? The the well, liquid glass, glass in the tank. We buy it from a place in Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Okay. It comes from silica, soda, and lime. Okay. And they make that raw material mixture, and we're able to melt it. Cool. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. And here are some finished products of some of Chris Zatzen's work. Just look at these vases. And this one here is very similar to one that we saw him working on today. Things are absolutely beautiful. And as I said earlier, the time and skill that it goes into making these things in the process, 240 bucks. But that's a lot of work and a lot of art. Okay, I want to thank you for joining me here at Dollywood watching Chris Zatton blow this glass and how it's made very interesting if you ever get a chance to come to Dollywood stop by and check it out it is truly amazing and until next time y'all have a good day